My name is Kuki, and today I'll be discussing about a disease that isn't too well known to the public. Imagine the whole world spinning around you with no steady ground to stand on and a loud ringing sound within your ears. You feel nauseous and want to throw up. Suddenly, you fall to the ground not able to get back up, but are still aware of everything spinning around you. People are panicking and asking if you need help, but you can't respond as you refrain yourself from throwing up. Meniere's disease is a disorder that is directly caused by the inner ear. The name Meniere's disease came from a French physician named Phosphor Meniere's, who believed that this disorder came from the inner ear. After research proved that he was correct, the name for the disease was dedicated after him. The disease is more of a disorder than an actual disease, so it is not contagious. No worries there. Meniere's disease can often be described by a large range of symptoms. Vertigo, also known as drop attacks, is a sensation of having a combination of imbalance, nausea, and a quickened heartbeat. These attacks can typically last hours, but the length greatly varies from one person to the next. They can cause a person to fall and become unable to get back up due to the feeling of imbalance. Tinnitus is another symptom that many common people may have, but are truly unaware of having this symptom. The symptom can often be determined by a loud ringing, buzzing, or low humming resonating within the ear, but the exact sound varies from one person to the next. The odd thing is, the symptom occurs in the absence of sound, so most of the time only the affected person can hear these sounds. In rare cases, tinnitus can actually be heard by people beside the affected person. Other symptoms include headaches, sound sensitivity, hearing loss, anxiety, a feeling of fullness within the ear, cold sweat, and eye jerking from side to side. All these listed symptoms can occur in varying lengths and intensity between different people, making each case a bit unique each time it is diagnosed. Oftentimes, the intensity for vertigo decreases with age, but for tinnitus and other symptoms, the intensity can actually increase. Hearing loss can eventually become permanent due to tinnitus. There are common ways to tell if one has this disorder, but it is highly recommended for the general public to go to an actual hospital and get properly diagnosed no matter how difficult doctors may say it is to determine the disorder's presence. Although the exact causes for this disease are unknown, there are many theories on what could possibly cause or contribute to this disorder occurring. Some possible causes are theorized to be problems of circulation, infection, allergies, genetics, autoimmunity, stress, fatigue, overintake of salt, pressure changes, and the list goes on. Some believe that Meniere's disease may be caused by an autoimmune disorder or viral infection since some viruses have an affinity towards inhabiting the ear. However, further research is needed for verification. Others theorize that this disorder may be caused by stress and hormones. Stress can play a huge part in the immune system since the body adjusts to the different conditions present in the human body. While there is no definite cure, there are many alternative treatments for the disorder, such as medicine, diet changes, and surgery. With medication, symptoms such as vertigo and nausea can be temporarily dealt with, but these symptoms can eventually come back later on. When a person is undergoing severe vertigo, he or she should be admitted into a proper medical facility in order to prevent further injuries and unintentional self-harm from occurring. Some doctors prescribe water pills in order to get the fluid within the inner ear back to a stable and balanced level. Many medical professionals suggest that people with Meniere's disease should limit their salt intake to reduce inner ear fluid pressure and change quite a few other daily habits such as smoking, drinking caffeine, and drinking alcohol. Intake of water is highly recommended along with sleep since sleep during leisure time can help reduce everyday stress. Surgery is typically seen as a last resort plan for many since unsuccessful operations can lead to permanent deafness. While things may seem a bit bleak, research about the disorder is being done in hopes of finding a lasting cure for people who have this disease. In addition, I personally have Meniere's disease, and I know that having this disease has allowed me to appreciate everyday sounds a lot more than I most likely would not have if this disease had been non-existent in my life. From the rustling of leaves to the crunching of pavement as I walk, to even the sounds of my friends talking in everyday conversations, I value the role of sounds even when most people take it for granted. 
Monero's disease has not hindered my drive and dedication to work hard. In fact, it has even motivated me to reach out and help those who are in need. To spread awareness of diseases such as this and work hard towards a future where this disease is a thing of the past. Although diseases typically have a bad connotation attached along with them, not everything considered bad has nothing good to bring. In fact, sometimes it's these exact elements that can change our perspective of the world for the better. I hope this animation was able to teach you maybe a thing or two about Meniere's disease, and I hope you have a wonderful day! Bye bye